What up, Doc? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to upload your photos into Eaglesoft in 2020. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This channel is all about the how-tos of dental marketing. And if you would like some free tools to help you out on social media, check the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are in Eaglesoft uh, version 21. I am on a Windows 10 computer. It's actually an Alienware computer. For today's purposes, I wanna be using the Sony A5100. Not that that really makes a difference on how you're gonna be importing, uh, but just I just wanna let you know, because in case you have that camera, you can kind of troubleshoot with this video. So, the first thing that we need to do is go down here to the new exam, and we're gonna make a new exam. Okay, and you wanna click on the digital camera button okay and next what I want to do is import the photos okay I'm not going to save the photos directly to the desktop I don't want to waste time I don't want to waste your time you want to import them directly from the camera so what we're going to do is go to import file import all right and these are the photos that I want to import okay it's not going to pop up like this did you if you're on a windows 10 it's probably going to automatically pop up just close that window out because you're not going to use it you want to use the folder window that eaglesoft prompts you to use okay so nav navigate to the camera that you're using and mine's a sony 5100 and basically i'm just going to highlight all these so you want to click on the first one and then shift hold it down click on all of them like that and then what you're going to do is import now typically, it should import all of them flawlessly, but sometimes it doesn't, depending on maybe your SD card is not reformatted recently. That could be the issue. Um, if it does give you the error message, it's going to be right here in the center. It's going to say uh, corrupted files, blah, blah, blah. What Eaglesoft has told me was that if that happens, it's a, it's a bug in Eaglesoft and they're trying to fix it and they'll probably come out with a new fix in the next batch. But they said what you have to do is shut down the program and possibly shut down the computer and restart it. So in the event that this procedure doesn't work to fix the problem, what you can actually do is reformat your camera. And basically what it does is wipe your whole SD card clean so you start fresh and new. This has been the remedy that I've been using to upload to Eaglesoft and I've had pretty good results. Now, if I want to edit these photos, before I do any editing, I have to save this whole batch of photos. I don't know why Eaglesoft makes you do that. It's dumb. Eaglesoft, you're listening. Fix it, please. All right, so let's go ahead and save it. Okay, so now what you have to do is click on this, the occlusal shots because those are really the only ones that we're going to be editing. And it's not a whole lot of editing. editing. It's just flipping and rotating. Okay, so this is the frontal shot. If you want it to be um, accurate, meaning their right is your left, you have to flip it. So we're going to go ahead and flip it just like that and then you want to save it all right then you want to click on the lower this one's a little bit different you want to flip it and you want to rotate it 180 degrees just like that and then you want to save it if you do not have these little uh, quick buttons here up here at the top what you do is you right click up here in the, in the menu bar and you go to customize and then you can uh, move them over and you can add them to the um, toolbar menu right here just like that all right I'm not gonna do anything because I already did it and then what you want to do is rename this to before photos just like that and that's basically it okay make sure that when you're taking your photos that you um, take a photo of the route sheet that shows the name and the doctors that they're associated with Okay, now one more thing I want to show you is how to export individual photos or all photos, okay? You can go up here to the file menu. You just go to export. You can do export all if you want to export all the photos. I usually don't. The ones that I export are just the smiling shot here because that's the one I use for Instagram, Facebook, whatever. All right. So you go to export and you name it, um, let's see, Emily. And I want to put it in the desktop because that's where I want to put it all right and you want to change the extension name extension is this the last the last letters of the file to a JPEG all right and then that's basically it and then you want to save it to the highest bit quality which is 24 
and make sure this is on best and then you hit OK and that's basically it. This is Sam for exporting all of them. So if you have any questions about this video or what I just did, leave them in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.